people, 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 what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now people, this is an update about a story that I did earlier today and I spoke about a lady, a YouTuber, and her name is Carla and her daughter Carly. They were taken out by a man, an individual, and his name is Dujan Griffiths. Now, people, I showed you her picture and I showed you Dujan's picture. Here is a picture of the baby father that was the first person that got conned up by this person. His name is Dujan. And, people, the baby father's name is Sin City, Sinawe, O C A K A, Pinky. Now, people, that is his picture on the screen. It is said that Sin City, Sinawe, Pinky, he is no innocent boy. He is no choir boy. He was a part of the G City gang in Amantigo Bay. They are known for hustling and mostly scamming. Based on information, it is said that he ran away from Montego Bay and he came to Florida. Dujan is the name of the person that took away the people them, and Sin City, Sinaway, and Pinky is the baby father. That is the correction right there. Now, people, based upon the information, it is said that at first, Dujan, he took away Pinky, whose name is also Sin City, Sinaway, and he called him up and he thought that he was gone. However, he was not gone. He was the person that called the popo and then called the... Um, the mother of the daughter, which is Carla, which is the grandmother of um, Carly. So people, I hope that you are following me. So anyways, it is said that Dujan Griffiths, who is said to be the suspect, him kind of Pinky at first. However, he thought that Pinky was gone. So therefore, he took away Carla and he also took away the daughter, Carly. And he tried to get some sort of money, some sort of ransom. However, it seems as if... The money was not forthcoming, so therefore him basically T-O-R-T-U-R-E, the mother and the daughter, and then he took them away. Now, people, based on the information from what Dujan is saying, he is saying that Pinky is using him, Pinky was using him, and Pinky was using some scammers from back in a Montego Bay day. So therefore he was told he was given some sort of order by some sort of Dan in a Montego Bay for basically slap with Pinky. Take with Pinky out of the picture because Pinky do not like to share the proceeds of crime. Now, people, when I spoke about the story this morning, I let you listen to a voice note and a video from the mother, the grandmother, the mother of Carla and the grandmother of Carly, the little Pitney. And we see that she knew something. So, people, basically, based on information that I am getting, is that when it first happened and they were basically kidnapped, she did not want to come out and say, listen, this is the person that did this. She did not want to say that Pinky, which is the boyfriend or the baby father, he was also involved in all sorts of scamming, all sorts of hustling. I think that his main hustle was scamming. He has been scamming from Jamaica. He's scamming in a Florida, Orlando to be specific. And also, she knew that the daughter was involved with a man that is a scammer. She knew that this person was not a 9 to 5 He did not work at any sorts of corporation in a florida he was a criminal and he was a gangster from montego bay however people until shit hit the fan that is when pearls are going to talk and people the truth and the fact is that even though this girl was doing her youtube channel she was making legitimate money she knew from start from jump street that pinky was also a member of the g city in a montego bay he was a gangster he was no innocent bystander so people the moral of the story is this good girls them love bad boys because bad boys they are gangsters bad boys them have money them have all sorts of illegal money so therefore they can finance their habit so therefore easy money that is the, the draw of a lot of these women and people a lot of these family member so you hear the grandmother talking today and we feel the pain condolences to the grandmother and the people may lose them life However, people, the truth and the fact is that a lot of persons know that people, their family member, their daughter, their sister, whatever the case is, is involved with all sorts of gangster, 
However, until SHIT hit the fan, until it basically reaches at their doorstep, they are not going to say any sort of thing. So people, at the end of the day, be very careful of the friends that you keep. And at the end of the day, this is my disclaimer. I do not care whatever you do. Nobody is supposed to take the life of a next person, especially when a little picnic is involved. So people, the truth and the fact is that the only person in this whole incident that is innocent is that little child. As it pertains to the grandmother, as it pertains to Carla, as it pertains to Pinky, or Cincy to whatever his name is, he is no innocent bystander. He is no sin. He is involved. However, they are not supposed to lose their life in a way like that because the truth and the fact is that the person, Dujan Griffith, he is no God. He should not be a scholar, render any sort of judgment for anybody, regardless of or irregardless of what they did to him. So people may just say a lot of times, People live a double life. A lot of times, people are doing legitimate business, as in Carla on YouTube. However, they know that their main source of income and the people that they are involved with is in all sorts of shaky stuff. The granny know, pinky know, and also Carla knew. So therefore, people, they should not be surprised because whenever you play with the devil or dance with the devil, you usually get F-U-C-K. So I just as say, whenever you play with any sorts of snake or any sorts of backbiter, they usually come back and do what is in their nature. Them backbite and them be a scally. Juke you in your back. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that there is high tension in downtown Kingston and it pertains to a little gang feud. Well, not really a little gang feud that is going on between gangsters from Tivoli Gardens and also Denham Town. Based on the information, it is said that at least four persons lost their life. And there is a strong military and poor poor presence in the era. Based on the information, it is said that the first took away happened at about 7 a.m. this morning on a place called Peach and Streets. Based on the information, it is said that the last takeaway occurred at the Popeye's food courts in a downtown outside the restaurant where a man was sitting down having some sort of meal and people, a man walked up to him with a tool in his hand and just blazed him up a couple of times. And then that man walked away easy like one, two, three. Based on the information, it is also said that there was a double takeaway on Darling Streets. And then after that, there was a reprisal on Matches Lane in which a next person lost his life. Based on the information from the Popo, it is said that there is a sequence of M-U-R-D-E-R. And the Popo are strong on the base because they are expecting a lot more reprisal. And people, like I said before, the motive is some sort of gang feud between Tivoli Gardens and also Denham Town. Now people, when we talk about place hot, place hot, Denham Town, Tivoli, two of the most volatile communities in a Jamaica, downtown Kingston to be specific. And people with Sissy, at one time them kind of cool off and now it is back. We are talking about magma lava. We are talking about volcano. So people, you know, so whenever this start, it is not going to stop anytime soon. So therefore, the power for them, them post up. However, people, you know, so these people don't care. So people, I say this to say that even with the presence of the military team, JDF and JCF, these killers, they don't care. Whenever they're ready for anything, they are going to do it without or without any sort of hesitation, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.